Hello, everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Streak. Let's do for our random run, and this might be the largest test that we've had on The Streak so far. We're up to, I don't know, I, I always underestimate, or sorry, misestimate uh, the number of runs that we've had over the course of this streak so far, but I do think we're on like maybe six or seven, eight or nine, somewhere in between five and a thousand victories in a row. Uh, and if you uh, throw out that one loss, or even if you take that one loss into account that we had earlier, um, like 10 episodes ago, we have like 20 out of 30, or not 20 out of 30, like 20 out of 21 straight, something like that. Pretty ridiculous considering my normal, you know, lack of Isaac skill, or at least my reputation thereof. I'm just gonna farm these guys for a little bit of extra damage from Rage. Not a whole lot, but might as well, otherwise we're gonna be here for 100 years. It's gonna take the same amount of time. I'd at least like, I'd at least like to uh, get to max damage, get some good practice dodging these guys, and we'll snag a cube of meat. Obviously, a cube of meat is not the item that you really need as Samson on the first floor. But assuming we survive until later on in the game, cube of meat might end up being quite nice for us as an orbital. But for now, uh, we're starting very much kind of hamstrung versus where you normally start on, say, an Isaac run. There is a Tinted Rock here, and uh, for once, it might actually be super important to actually get those uh, Tinted Rocks, because, of course, the um, bomb would actually be, or the, sorry, the, the Spirit Heart that we could get from it would be very useful. Similarly, without a reroll, we're kind of stuck with our uh, Spelunkers hat here, but that will allow us to find secret rooms, which would be awesome, again, if we had literally any bombs, which we don't. Okay, don't take any more darn damage here. Bomb, give me a bomb. Give me a bomb. Hey, give me a half red heart. Can't do shit with that. Well, it's an interesting first floor, but a first floor that is maybe not particularly useful. Uh, there's our secret room. There's no way for me to access it, so I guess we will just leave. And a first floor that makes me a little nervous. That being said, we do have a key, so guaranteed we can at least visit the uh, item room here. The cursor might not be possible. And you know what? We were we were due for a test like this because we've had brimstone runs lately. We've had um, oh that's super good. So here's the here's the trick here. Let's try not to fuck this up massively. This might be a health down pill. So I'd rather take this right now. That's fine. Then take it after this because if I had taken it after that, that could have cost me that health if it was a health down pill. Just one of the little things you can do to make life a little easier. And getting that HP is very important. But anyway, yeah, we're we're due for a test. Quite honestly, because we've had some very easy runs lately. I, Epic Fetus was a big one. Um, Brimstone on the last run, but I did put in an awful lot of work to actually make that one work. Bad Trip here is actually really useful because, of course, it is also full health. Now, our second secret room is adjacent here. Unfortunately, uh, you know, I can't really get to it without a bomb. I hope that one of these days we'll actually be able to find one of these mythical exploding devices that I've heard so much about in the chronicles of, uh, you know... It's the civilized world. I don't know why I'm acting like I'm from the Middle Ages right now. Not that there's anything wrong with that if you are from the Middle Ages. Anyway. No bombs. We'll fight our boss. Can't be too difficult. Larry Jr. Uh, that shoots bullets is one of the more difficult bosses we could fight here. But very difficult? No, absolutely not. If we kill one or start killing bodily segments, we should uh, have to deal with a little bit more damage. Or sorry, we should, we should be able to deal a little bit more damage is what I meant to say there which uh, would be excellent in and of itself. We also have this bad trip pill, which is a nice fail safe in case things go terribly, terribly wrong and I do end up getting hit two or three times. Plus there's just some, you know, red hearts that I can actually pick up here. So if I can just keep these guys kind of like away from me. There we go, starting to get technically kills. Yeah, I knew that something like that was gonna happen. We're not gonna pick up that half hard yet though, cause, or that full hard yet, cause we might need more. Might be able to benefit more later. And there we go. Finish it off. No deal with the devil. No HP. But a tears upgrade. The tears upgrade is useful. As you might expect, though, I'm a little bit disappointed with the, the payouts that we've had so far. Now, we can be smarter here. No. No. Yes. This way. Move, please. Secret room's over here. Secret room's over here. No. Secret room is over on this side of the level. That's good enough. Oh my god, I got so close to opening it, but didn't actually work. That had to be where it was, I think. We have a little bit more exploration that we can do on this floor, but... My god, uh... Slim picking so far, yeah, that's about it right there. We are gonna go to the curse room. We have enough health to replenish it, and keep our bad trip pill, which is a very important part of this whole arrangement right now. And to be honest with you, Guppy's Paw is very useful. We probably won't use it right now, but, uh... It is useful in the future if we can at least keep it. 
really helps us solve our uh, health problem as Samson. Not that we don't have a whole host... Well, it doesn't really matter which ones we took there. Not that we don't have a whole host of other problems, but uh, at least this can give us a slightly better chance of, of staying alive. And I'm very, very nervous about our chances here, but as long as I maybe start to stack up some HP here... We need keys as well. Oh, thank you. As long as I can maybe start to stack up some HP here, should be uh, in a better position. Rather not free those neutral flies if possible. Should be able to knock out one of those guys there. We took a decent number of shots of them there. Okay, neutral flies take like six hits to kill for some reason. Maybe because my damage is really bad right now. There we go, but that's a little bit more damage for us stacked up. And there we go. So, curse room. Yes, indeed. Tempting. Library. Tempting. Especially now that we have more keys because... I mean, Guppy's Paw is great. I guess I'll go in there because I used a key by accident. Guppy's Paw is great, uh, but, you know, not necessarily the most useful item. That being said, it could help us become Guppy. It's not the most useful item right away, but I'd like to keep it as long as possible. Uh, we'll walk in here and see what we've got. Two Spirit Hearts, that's very nice. Well, Book of Shadows out. It's not like we can re-roll anyway. Um, would we, we be better off having Book of Shadows or Guppy's Paw? Book of Shadows, short to midterm. Guppy's Paw, long term, I think. One key to get a penny and two Spirit Hearts, well... A penny and a half red heart, technically. It's not a very good deal. But luckily, we do have enough to still open our item room anyway. Otherwise, I would have been pissed. At least we have that extra... Oh, we have a bomb now, so we might be able to find an eternal heart, which is very, very important, given my extreme lack of HP right now. And I'm really missing a lot of the things that you would normally consider, you know, nice to have on a run where you wanted to have a victory instead of a soul-crushing defeat. What are those things that we're missing? HP, damage, yeah, that's basically it. We'll talk about that second secret room after we finish with this room right here. Which is gonna be a little bit tedious, but as long as I... Thank God this isn't the champion version of this guy. As long as I uh, don't act like a fucking imbecile, I should be able to get through this fight without taking any more damage than I just took, theoretically. And once we start breaking these body segments, we'll get extra rage damage. Obviously what we're really on the lookout for is a deal with the devil. I like an HP upgrade, deal with the devil, pick up a mom's knife, puts us in a much better position. If Brimstone shows up, I'll pick that up too, and I don't think you would be in the right to criticize me for that, even though we took it on the last run. Things are dire enough that that is a, a, a very viable opportunity, I'd say, here. There we go. Starting to stack up a little bit more damage. Doesn't look like we're even going to get to the, the red phase of tears, but so be it. Mm, I really thought that would do it, and it sort of did. So there's HP. Finally. So, we leave, and we, uh, I mean, I guess, theoretically, let's check this out first, but, god damn it, I will use three cents here, because a trinket could end up being super valuable for us, um, or the crystal ball, but, uh, what was I gonna say, theoretically, I should be taking the book of sin around with me, probably, because we would get some extra consumables as a result of it, but I'm gonna stick with Guppy's Paw for now, just so I don't forget. That was the, basically the worst uh, second secret room we could possibly hope for. Would've been much better off just going to the secret room, but here is our item room. And we get a penny as a result of that. Wonderful. We also get, I mean, say what you will about this run so far. They've been pretty good about the item room items that they've given me. I'm content to have uh, extra speed plus range. It's not the best item in the game, but at least it's a workable item, and we did get HP on this floor for once. Um, I think we have to deal with neutral flies here. Can't even bomb our way out if we wanted to, so... Ooh, yep, I was a little concerned about that, but whatever. That damage hopefully will not end up actually being meaningful. Okay, that was very close. Come on, neutral... Uh, well, you know what? We can just leave and then the neutral flies will be gone. Except for that one and that one. Chariot card. Bad trip is probably better. We can't really use the chariot card for anything effective, so I'm going to stick bad trip with me. And we're very unlikely to get an arcade on the next floor as well, um, because we don't have more than five cents. So we'll just leave instead. This run is not shaping up very nicely so far, but we have we have a little bit of an ace in the hole. Oh, we have a secret room here. Uh, we have a little bit of an ace in the hole with respect to our Guppy's paw. Right now, we could technically be at ten spirit hearts if we wanted to be, but it's always best, I think, to milk the shit out of the red hearts while they're still red. And then when uh, when you need them, turn them into the, turn them into exactly the same amount of spirit hearts. Should we go to the secret room? Not yet, because I was waiting to see if maybe we could bomb our way into a special room. Doesn't appear that that's going to be the case though. So maybe yes, we will go to the secret room basically right away here. Just keep these guys at bay. Once we get them all primed for the ooze state, we can start getting some kills very easily. This should do it. 
And you too. All right. So, let's check out the secret room. I don't even know what I want it to be at this point. Maybe greed so I can actually get some easy money without risking it on a shop. We have uh, three cents. Is that worth a bomb? Almost certainly not in our current situation, but maybe later. Who knows? For now, we're basically relying on, uh, on ourselves and deal with the devil rooms if we can get them and item rooms and boss rooms. Which luckily we have had enough keys for. Yes, very excited by the fact that we do have a blood bank. Gonna have to actually uh, put myself in a position where I can use it. Which I, I probably am in a position where I can use it right now, but I always want to be very wary about our health. And you never know if maybe I'll find a way to get a bloody penny or something, so we might as well just kind of wait on it for now. Maybe get a, a nunsap doesn't really help. We'll just wait on it for now is what I'm trying to get at. I can't believe we haven't killed any of these uh, Larry Juniors so far. I also can't believe that we were fighting a uh, green Larry Jr. for the second time in a row, but the second time on this run in general. There we go. One's dead. Second one should be done. There we go. No bombs. Really wanted some bombs because, uh, you know, there's this chest here. Uh, and, you know, the second secret room, which this time, you gotta have, you know, the odds are it's either a, a trinket, which I could use, or a bunch of red hearts, which I could use on that blood bank, or perhaps it could be uh, an eternal heart, which I could use because my HP is not very good. So, I can use a lot of things right now. There we go. We started taking out one. Once you take out one, the rest of your life becomes substantially easier. And we get a uh, bomb and a key. Okay. So, first things first, we will go to our boss fight. Chub shouldn't be super difficult, especially since we can build rage. But you know, the crowd control on Chub is annoying because the silkworms do take a lot of damage, at least to start with. It's okay though, we'll build it up. Chub will actually kill many of his own young, so it makes my life a little easier. Thank you. And keep it going here. I'm starting to have faith. And the reason I'm having faith in this run right now is not because of the items we've been getting but because I feel like I've been playing pretty well in this run so far. I don't really have too much say in the, the items that I actually get as a result of having no D6, but I can be vigilant with this guppy's paw, I can hold on to this bad trip pill, and I can uh, dodge my little heart out, and hopefully find myself in a pretty okay position. So really, HP here. Meat would be ideal. Uh, that extra spirit heart is actually wonderful as well. It's pageant boy, we can't do anything about it, and no nickels in it either, which is just infuriating. But maybe we get a mom's knife, ability to fly. Guppy's tail! Here's the thing, this is a very tough decision. I'm gonna take Guppy's tail. The pact is really good, also gives us spirit hearts. Guppy's tail? We don't really have that many keys, but we do have Guppy's paw as well, so we're pretty close to being able to become Guppy. Uh, and if we can maybe find a curse room at some point, that'll give us many things that we want all at once. It'll give us the ability to fly, it'll give us, um, you know, extra damage, etc, etc. So, I think that's the right way to handle it for now. And let's hope we can get our money back, or our HP back in this case, with uh, that blood bank. If it pays out with an IV bag, so be it. Future considerations, right? Now, we're not playing that blood bank yet, just because I want to see what else we have available on this floor. Oh, don't get trapped in here. Ideally. Oh, we escaped! I almost got caught on the uh, the door jam there. Um, I don't really want to lose spirit hearts going to the curse room if I can avoid it. But I do want to go to the curse room because if it has a guppy item, I'm not in the clear, but I'm certainly a lot better off. I don't want to say like 9 times out of 10, but most of the time on that situation, if I had not taken guppy's paw with me... Well, that doesn't really matter if I take it with me. Most of the time on the if on that deal with the devil, I would probably have enough health to, to maybe get both of those if I wanted them. Uh, but I would have probably valued the pact way higher than Guppy's Tail, but unfortunately, we basically only have the option to take one. And did we take the right one? Well, time will tell. Joker card. That allows us to go back if we get more HP. Let's open this. Tarot card. High Priestess. Not worth it. Um, the Joker card allows us to go back, and we can only lose half a Spirit Heart if we go into the Curse Room and then pop it, so... I mean, do we really want to get the pact? Sort of. Yeah, I mean, extra damage would be nice. We still have an item room awaiting us. We still have a shop awaiting us, too, and it's, you know, theoretically possible we can get enough money to make that shop worthwhile. We do have the keys as long as we open no more golden chests. And I'm, I'm starting to think that this floor is going to be a, a defining floor for us on this game. We're still not in a, a winning position. We could be close, though. We could, we could only be one item away, perhaps. Wooden spoon is not that item. Give me some money. There's another penny up here I can, I can get for sure. Uh, wooden Spoon is not that item, but we are going to pick it up because we have no choice, basically. Now, be cool here. 
could conceivably take damage on this floor. That would not, or this room. Yeah, there it is. I was gonna say that would not be unprecedented at all. Blood bank. Oh, we're definitely gonna get enough money to use the shot because we have the blood bank. But this could have greed in it. No, it can't because we've already had a mini boss. All right. So what do we have? The ladder. Not quite worth it. But we will buy a three cent golden key, or sorry, a three cent regular key, which you know, of course, with Guppy's pod does some good stuff for us. We do want to check out that. Uh, Second secret room before we leave. I'm just trying to think about where to prioritize my bombs at. So, this is our final room over here. Should be a relatively easy one. Don't make me eat my words, self. Relatively good place so far, I have to say. Be like, half decent items. Our main weakness right now is that we started as Samson. Everything else about this run has been adequate, I would say. I realized, by the way, that by picking up that ladder, there's a few consumables I could get here. It's true. Um, we still have that bad trip pill. I think we definitely want to open up this tinted rock. There's no bad outcome. Even one spirit heart is an adequate outcome. And our other bomb, if we don't get any more, which we probably won't, thank God, would uh, will be used for that second secret room. So now that we have more HP, we might want to go back and pick up the mark or the pact. Sorry. Or we might not want to because that it represents a pretty big loss as a result of uh, having Guppy's tail. Oh, okay. Or as a result of having Guppy's paw, I should say. I'm not going to pick it up. I know a lot of people would love to see me, like, double down on it. I'm not going to do it. And the reason I'm not going to do it is because uh, I think we need this HP. For later, it'll become, you know, six spirit hearts by the way of Guppy's paw. Maybe that's bad reasoning in this situation. Uh, and I got a Joker card out of here. And a lot of people are going to be really mad about that. But the reason I Joker card it out of here is to take less damage. And I'm guaranteed to take the uh, bad trip pill with me. 100% because I basically that's my insulation against death so we're gonna take that bad trip pill with us when you're at low HP that seems like a prudent thing to do and what's the main strategy that I'm running right now stay alive long enough for Guppy's paw to give you a fuck ton of health and permanent Polaroid invincibility that's our strategy so that's that's what we're gonna do might be some way to get that second secret room and this chest but uh, too bad basically I don't think this will work but we'll try it I really don't think it'll work second secret room contains an eternal heart. So we actually did get two extra HP here. If I had the Joker card, now I might take the Pact. So I regret that a little bit. We might be able to just walk in. We can't. So be it. We got extra HP. Alright, Devs Part 1. Not sure what to prioritize here. Probably... Because we only have one key is what I'm getting at. Probably the... Uh, the item room still, I guess. The shop has a pretty good chance to have a mini boss on it. Uh, and we only have one key. It's a tough call. Obviously, that golden chest is not our number one priority. We're lucky enough to be on the depths. If we were on the uh, Necropolis, we would maybe be facing, like, Mask of Infamy rooms, which would be a pain in the ass to deal with uh, nine times out of nine. Didn't expect me to go there, probably. Uh, so, yeah, if we can actually just, you know, be on a relatively safe floor for a little while, that would be nice. Just kill, thank you. Now that we've killed one, it gets easier to kill more from that point onwards. There we go. Okay, maybe get the champion kill. Oh, all right. Close enough. The problem is we have, like, knockback on our shots. I think we've had that since, you know, the time that we spawned, basically. I don't know why. Now we have two keys. That's very nice. Always, always, always take damage on that room. That's not advice. That's just uh, an observation. And I managed to get out of there without getting hit, which is very surprising to me. Wish I could... Kill the free... Yeah, killing the head first makes way more sense than killing the body first. And we still have this bad trip pill, which is why I always feel safe coming into these, uh... Coming into these fights. Now, getting little gish is nice, but... We are, um... You know, not really 100% invested into getting little gish. I would rather just snag basic attribute upgrades. Even though I do think little gish is potentially a, uh, Very much, you know, game-improving item. It's also... It's a nice boss fight to be a part of, because... We'll be able to generate a decent amount of, like, damage increase as a result of Rage. But still kind of tedious nonetheless, and maybe the uh, the items that we get are not necessarily extraordinarily useful here. Or the item we get is not necessarily extraordinarily useful here. But, you know, this has been, um, this has been a run where we're the have-nots. And we're, we're trying to make ourselves haves. Even if... That was such a good bomb. I got trapped behind the rocks there. Um, even if we have to give up all of our HP, basically, to pick up nine lives, I'll do it. Obviously, I'd prefer to give up less HP and take Guppy's head. Or the same... Uh, well, no, there's no point in giving up the same amount of HP, but... Uh, we'll, we'll take whatever Guppy item we can get, basically. So we want to snag as many deals with the devil as possible. 
get those guppy items, because guppy is our out right now. And then every HP upgrade from that point on is three spirit hearts that we can use for the remainder of the game. Good shit. No deal with the devil. That sucks pretty hard, but we did get Gish. Now with three keys, I think we start opening golden chests, because you never know what's going to be inside of those. Uh, it could be a tarot card. That's the Empress, which is basically fucking worthless for, you, for me. It's okay, though. We might want to save money on this floor if the shop ends up being not amazing. The reason I suggest that is because it gives us a better chance of getting an arcade on the next floor. That could be an HP plus speed upgrade. Or an IV bag, admittedly, but sure. You know. We actually can use bombs instead of keys to get our way into that uh, item room. If we get more bombs. Which is a logical likelihood, I'd say. It's a penny. What do we have in our shop? Notched axe. For real, huh? All right, well, we can effectively save a key, ride a cowboy, by uh, using two bombs this way. And we'll probably get money out of our shop, or sorry, our secret room anyway. The shops so far have been god-awful. We get six cents, which pays for the bomb that we used to get in here. And that's good enough. And then our item room, please God, be good. Guardian Angel, that is actually really good in conjunction with our first level cube of meat. So, upping our defense just a little bit. Now we look for a curse room on this floor, and again, this bad trip pill, man, this is the life giver right now. Don't insult the life giver. We're very lucky that we took that bad trip pill in the early game, actually allowing us to realize that that's what this was. If we'd only gotten one bad trip pill over the course of the game, it could have been very shitty for us. Uh, I might have used it by accident, then I wouldn't have the security blanket that I've got right now. But certainly, uh, this has been a, a tough go right now. But at least if this is where the streak ends this time, uh, I'm, I'm not sacrificing, like, a good run uh, and just throwing it, basically. I'm actually, I'm trying and we're, we're having a good fight and if, if it's a hard-fought battle, a loss is okay. It's really just if it's a, a really unfortunate loss that things become problematic, in my opinion. No bomb. Second secret room, obviously we're going to be going to those like crazy because, you know, that's the only way that we can get HP effectively, uh, apparently. I mean, what have we gotten, or where have we gotten our HP from? We've gotten three HP. We got one Eternal Heart. We got one Blood Bank uh, to pay out. Do we know what this is? We don't. Please don't be, I'm not going to take it yet. I'm going to wait until I see if I, we have a Curse Room. Uh, because this Curse Room, if it's Telepills, at least we'll teleport out and we'll save ourselves some damage. But uh, I really don't want this to work out this way because I want to keep that bad trip pill. Which I won't be able to do if I get an I Am Error Room. So, um finish you off like so and good we'll come down in here I'm sorry I have to take it there's no choice we got a range downgrade well that's the perfect time to take that then yeah if, if you're pissed about this I can understand it two brimstone runs in a row what the fuck northern lion well we're, we're in a pretty difficult spot here so I do apologize but so be it bloody penny is actually really excellent for us if we end up finding blood banks I'm assuming that on the next floor, we're pretty much guaranteed to uh, run into uh, a greed mini boss. So, I mean, it could be on the secret room, so that would be fine. What do we got here? Cool card. Uh, we're going to stick with our bad trip pill. So, first things first, I'm just going to get back to full HP. And again, I, I have to stress that I do understand if this is really frustrating for you to see me take Brimstone twice in a row. Understand as well. I'm doing whatever it takes to win, especially on a run like this where I've been scraping together uh, for so long that uh, I basically have no other choice in the matter. We do want to check out that second secret room more than we want to blow up that, uh, there was a tinted rock, I think. The extra HP could be super important. And inside of here, we get uh, Cursed Skull, which is not worth the time that we're going to invest dealing with this, but that's okay. So, uh, picking up Brimstone for free, obviously a huge play. That's going to give us a mo... God, that sucks. That's going to give us a much better chance of success as time goes on. Now the trick, don't get lazy. I really can't afford to be lazy. This is still so much worse than our last run. But we are a lot better against Zambros than we used to be. So if you dead, we'll take our bomb. Now we can use these effectively, but seriously, please God, be... Uh, what is that? That's bad trip, right? Yeah. Please God, be... Uh, an eternal heart. That would be the most important thing. We've got mom on the next floor, a shop that I doubt is going to pay out, and an item room where we're very much at the beck and call of the RNG. Control engine, if you will. So, we're leaving, and we have 4 HP, 
Brimstone, decent suite of orbitals, little gish. Uh, I'm gonna save my bomb. We'll use it for secret rooms on the next floor. We already have one key, that's all right. Down to the next floor. It's Necropolis, that's scary as hell. Lard is actually a huge pickup. Our speed is already too fast. It's still a little bit too fast, but that extra HP is incredibly useful. So, I'm gonna actually see if I can get a green nub man to blow, uh, I was gonna say if I, see if I can get him to blow up the secret room, but it was looking like it was just a little bit too far away for it. So, the arcade, extraordinarily useful. As a result, thank god we still have some speed here. Extraordinarily useful as a result of our bloody penny. And if we are lucky enough to get out of this room without taking damage, we may check it out, or we might wait a little bit. That is another, uh, range down. Yeah. So, we'll probably wait until we see if we have a little bit more money. But I want to see if I can also bomb my way into a shop by way of this, uh, special room here. That's HP, thank you. Uh, by way of the secret room, I should say. We can't, so we'll probably just hit up that secret room right away then. Reason being, we can get more HP, maybe get back to full health. I uh, maybe we'll gamble a little bit on the blood bank first, just in case. I think that's, that's fairly prudent. Okay. So, blood bank. This is an important one. Hopefully no IV bag, but at least we got a little bit of HP to back us up here. This guppy's paw is now looking increasingly strong. And without any keys, may want to invest uh, fairly heavily in uh, this fortune teller, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, I suppose. In any case, I, th I think money's not going to be an issue. The only question is, will we get enough areas that we can actually spend it on? I really don't want this to be where I use the bad trip pill. So let's start gambling a little bit over here as well. Because basically, what we want to win, if we win pennies, we get a chance to get more red hearts out of it anyway. Isaac's Fork, not as good as, as Bloody Penny for us. Uh, Fly Love, right off the bat, kind of shitty to be honest with you. Got nothing there, I'll play this one more time. And... Okay, we're gonna leave. Just because it's a little too risky right now. And now I'm hoping there's money in the secret room so we can generate a buck, uh, bucket? <laughs> Where was I going with that? A bunch of uh, red hearts. Pretty good. We got, uh, I think we got four out of six there, which is pretty solid. And we'll keep moving along. So far, so good. I mean, we, we got Fly Love. It is what it is, and what it is is okay. Should be deceased, and you next. Okay, can't open that. Uh, judgment here. Super important, so we'll gamble on him. Just give me HP, man. You could also give me the compass. That would be nice, too. But I'm, I'm content. I'm a simple man in this state. Uh, more bombs, more keys would be nice too. Any moment, whenever you so choose. I can wait. I got the money, and I can get more if you need it. That red heart might end up being super valuable. Maybe the red heart that will allow me to safely get the blood bag. More keys, that's what we want. Golden chests, and uh, oh, the emperor card. Very useful, but uh, our full health. Oh my god, he gave me the nun's habit, holy crap. Um, this is, it's interesting, because the nun's habit is like, Sort of worthless with Guppy's Paw, but if we ever replace our spacebar item, then it's it's gonna be wonderful to have it. Will we ever replace our spacebar item? Remains to be seen. Okay, thank you for the health. Way more exploration to still do. That Emperor card's super useful, but Bad Trip, more useful. Uh, almost, almost 100% objectively, I think. Thank, do dodge into the freaking spikes, that's your only job. That's like the thing you're best at in life. I can do it. I can do it. I can't fly. Why did I think I could fly? <laughs> I was like, I'm just gonna fly over there and get that. Oh, wait. No, I can't do that, because that's dumb. Okay. Bomb flies. Easy to take care of with brimstone, as long as we're on the other side of the map. Thank you. There's a half red heart to compensate for the one we lost. We even got this chest for free. Wonderful. Um, we'll check out our shop. Oh, it's not a mini boss. I mean, here's the thing. With Nun's Habit, Book of Revelation certainly seems quite good, doesn't it? We probably won't buy it yet, but I think we're gonna buy it. Because we have to, pretty much. And we're not gonna go to that, uh... Oh, please, more HP. We're not gonna go to the, uh, second secret room yet. Because I only wanna... If, if it's an Eternal Heart, we don't wanna go to it, basically. Because I wanna gamble more on the Blood Bank. Especially if we're gonna Guppy's Paw all the way back up. Uh, or, like, for all of our health. So I'm gonna clear out the entire floor, then what am I thinking? We go blood bank, get the blood bag to pay out if it's at all possible. Then we buy Book of Revelations. Why do we buy Book of Revelations? Because we have the nuns, uh, or sorry, we have nuns habit, yeah. 
And Nun's Habit combined with uh, Book of Revelations is super nice. Basically halves our damage for the remainder of the game. And we are going to have permanent polar invincibility after this floor. And with Guppy's Paw, that will give us an 18 or 21, depending on whether or not we get the blood bag. Uh, Spirit Heart Head Start, which is incredible for us. So that's that's my layout. That's how I'm going to solve this floor, at least try to. Worst case scenario, we do end up with 19 Spirit Hearts going into the mom fight, which is really nice. And we also have Fortune Tellers that we can gamble on more, like the one you saw right there. I'm still waiting to see if we get Curse Rooms and stuff like that. Um, and I still really, really, really want to become Guppy, if that's a possibility, but we're running out of, uh, running out of options for that, so... I, I'm gonna double down on this, like, brimstone high HP possibility. Thank you, and we will pick that up just so we don't have to backtrack as much. There could still be a curse room along the way here. Yeah, it, it's reasonably likely at least, but we've got some work to do before then. Um, we're gonna try to find it, we gotta find the boss trap room. Might as well kill you, do we know? It's another bad trip pill. I mean, that's great because we can use one of our bad trip pills as a full health pill on this floor guilt-free because it's not like we can take the other ones with us anyway, right? So, this poor fucker is not even close to going to be alive. And our boss room with no curse room in sight. So, that's how we're going to handle this floor. Hopefully you understood where I'm going with this one. Step one. Oh, you know what? We should not gamble until we get the whole... Mm, because it, it's stupid to gamble on the blood bank without having the Book of Revelations be a part of it, right? But why would we not gamble? Uh, yes, okay. So this is how you do it. It's Friday night, and I feel all right. The party's here on the west side, etc., etc. We're going to run as fast as we can over here. So we buy a Book of Revelations. And then we cheese the bejesus out of the game. And get this key, too. So, immediately, we just use it once. And uh, this would be better if we had the Polaroid working with us, but we can't really do anything about it. But it's great because we have Bloody Penny as well, so we can basically do this ad nauseum. I'm going to save my key, not use it on the golden chest yet. And we're not generating rerolls here, just Spirit Hearts. So in many ways, the longer this takes to pay out, the better it is. So just keep it going here. Every two plays is one Spirit Heart and enough Red Hearts to keep us in business at least. There's another Spirit Heart. Oh, this is looking pretty good. IV Bag does not help us out. Except we can gamble like crazy because we'll still get the bloody penny payouts. Whatever. So that didn't work out as well as I would have liked. That being said, we got three spirit hearts extra out of that. We didn't get the blood bag. So that it's basically equivalent to getting the blood bag. Three spirit hearts for our, our troubles there. Now we're going to Guppy's Paw. And we're going to Guppy's Paw all the way. This is where we're, we're betting on the win. We, we're going for broke, basically. So we're going to get up to 21 spirit hearts. Like so, and we're gonna say thank you, Guppy's Paw, for being there for us in, in times of trouble. Uh, you you may have given us the chance to keep our streak alive, even on a run where it looked like it was not necessarily gonna happen. Now, if we get HP upgrades, we don't pick them up. It sucks. Life's a bitch and then you die, that's why we get high, because you never know where you're gonna go. Now, the bad trip pill is now terrible, so... You would be a very smart person if you had told me to come back here and get the uh, Emperor card instead. Which can save us an entire floor on, in all likelihood, the Cathedral. So, Bad Trip Hill doesn't do anything for us anymore. Let's try not to take damage as we move over here. Shouldn't be too tough to avoid. Very good. My speed made that a little bit of a liability, but we're cool here. Alright, I'm taking my first deep breath of relaxation in a while. We're not in a one position at all. Not even close. Not even a little bit close. We're missing so many things. Flying, compass, map. Oh, uh, actually, we do have a good way to regenerate our spirit hearts. Disregard. Um, you know, we're not guppy. Not that that's necessarily ever considered a prerequisite, but we we've basically gave ourselves a lot of different outs here, and, and one of them paid out. Guppy's paw plus, or like, our heavy spirit heart track paid out for us. As did, um, you know, going to curse rooms. Eventually, that just worked itself out. And we ended up getting uh, an item that was probably better than you'd normally expect to get there. For free. And life's good. I do kind of wish I'd picked up the packs now. We'd have, like, four spirit hearts less. But we'd be doing way more base damage. Which is kind of uh, one of my largest sore spots right now. I really want to take out this. Ah, he got me. But hey, free spirit heart. And we should, by the way, get a second level cube of meat now. As a result, oh, I walked right into that. We might as well get hit once more by, like, one of these things. There we go. Um, 
Yeah, uh, we should get a second level cube of meat. I don't value that super highly, but whatever. It is what it is. As long as we get a, a maybe a deal with the angel after that, that would be wonderful. Or a deal with the devil that took spirit out. So might as well get hit once more. Thank you. That way we guarantee we don't lose health. Um, shot speed up plus tarot card. I don't think there's any tarot card I would prefer to the emperor. But there's no reason not to take a shot speed upgrade, so... I mean, we're, we have brimstone. Our tarot card is strength. Eh, it's meaningless. But could have been like justice or something would have given us another key. All right, Utero 1. Time to see if we actually have a legitimate chance. Earlier floors were just, um, you know, just a test. Now we face uh, the real difficulties here. This is like, we're actually fighting here. We have secret rooms that we should visit. I did go to both of the rooms, I, mean, I did, I think. Both of the secret rooms on the last floor. Gertie Jr., not so bad when you've got, uh, you know, little Gish helping you out, although I'm an idiot nonetheless. And, uh, took damage because I'm dumb. At least we have Book of Revelations there to soak up the uh, extra abilities. I mean, we might as well take the 1-up. I prefer the Ankh, I think quite obviously, but this is fine. 1-up is pretty good. Gives us at least a chance if we die. We're, we're certainly not out of the woods. We're in a very tenuous position where I would give us maybe a slight edge over the game, but edges can evaporate pretty quickly. Um, it is nice having permanent Polaroid invincibility. There's no reason to get a hit twice on these rooms, remember, because we take double damage. So that, that room's just going to be chalked up as a loss, but so be it. Oh, that time I would have actually preferred if the slow did not work, but you live and learn. Real problem is that when, he, when we're fighting enemies that don't summon other enemies, our damage is fucking awful. Like, uh, seriously abysmal. Look at how long it takes us to kill Gertie Jr. Jr. here. That was very close. Book of Revelations is active. And our mob trap room with the golden chest is tempting, but not tempting enough. So, yeah, I mean, I guess an ideal payout for us on this floor. Yes, I see that there's a blood bank there. Would have been nice to still have Bloody Penny, I suppose. Would have been nice to still have some red hearts, but we, we traded that in, and I don't feel bad about it. Um, we can get a lot of plays, by the way, out of a, a single spirit heart. But I don't want to do that because we don't even want the red heart to begin with. We do want to go to the curse room. It'll cost us two spirit hearts to do so, but we'll gain one back. Uh, one and a half, technically, back through our troubles. That's a bad trip pill. Um, and, oh, what I was hoping for, obviously, was the ability to become Guppy, which would give us the ability to fly, which would be very useful right now. But instead, no such luck. Maybe on the next floor, or maybe in a three heart deal with the devil. And if I recall correctly, when you take nine lives, rolling entirely on spirit hearts, you get to keep those spirit hearts. So, theoretically, if that shows up, that would be amazing. Of course, we're fighting death. It's good. It gives us a chance to uh, break the uh, break the sights. And with the sights coming out, we break those, and that gives us uh, extra damage, I think. Uh, still, yes, I would expect to take some damage on this fight, basically, is what we're getting at. But, you know, we do have Guardian Angel and Cube of Meat, so whenever we get hit, we can go in there, and we're no slouch in the damage department ourselves, especially when we run into enemies. So we'll hopefully kill some Zambros here if death is nice enough to summon some more for us to one-shot. Maybe not before he dies. And right, we killed the other one, and we got to deal with the devil. So this is a pretty big moment of truth here. Could be a huge swing for us. I can't. I can't. I would love to. If I still had HP, I would take Mom's knife right now and we would win. But I made my bed. We're going to lie in it. I decided to roll with Book of Revelations instead of Guppy's Paw. I think that is still a decision that could work out for me. It's difficult to say, you know, there, there are very few situations in Isaac. Actually, that's not true. There are uh, more than a few situations in The Binding of Isaac, but a lot of situations in The Binding of Isaac, there's no, like, objective, this is the right decision, this is the wrong decision. Now that we know that um, Mom's knife would have showed up later, maybe it would have been for the best for us to stick with Guppy's paw, take that deal with the devil, and then go up on Spirit Hearts, because our damage would not be uh, as kind of woeful as it is right now. Why does woeful sound like something that's so amazing? Like, that's full of woe! But it is full of woe, but not the good kind. Um, anyway. I guess it, it is the good kind if you're like Edgar Allan Poe. No attack fly, huh? It's fine. Didn't need it anyway. But yeah, I mean, in this situation, it was a little bit uh, dubious. And I still think we can make it either way. But it, it is going to be a little bit more difficult this way and I'll like... That was a stupid use of a bomb. In all likelihood, it will be a little bit more difficult this time. More fun. All right. Well, let's see if we can make something great happen. Yeah, oh, never mind, you know. Well, we got 
paid back for what we put in, but not for what I wanted. And uh, double dukes, not so bad. Also the name of my fists. Now, be a little cautious. We do have fly love, so these guys don't worry me. It's basically just free HP for me and a free spirit heart as well. And a golden chest that I'm not gonna open because I'm still banking on actually making it to the chest. This is the closest the streak has come though. You have to admit, the tension's there. Even with Brimstone, without Brimstone, we'd be fucked. Unless we had Mom's Knife, in which case we'd be fine. I don't want to take these pills. Even if it could be Balls of Steel, it could be an HP upgrade too. It's just too risky right now. Similarly, I'm not very happy to be fighting Gluttony for once because it actually is going to um, possibly cost me, well, not cost me, but it could cost me health, but I'm not going to be able to get the HP upgrade if they drop it, which is normally the main reason you like fighting Gluttony at this point. Maybe he'll drop Spirit Hearts, though. If I kill him... Uh, no, Red Hearts. We come in here, Spirit Heart up, and we get bombs. Okay, well, you live and learn. Mom's Heart. Interesting. Thought you would die in one hit, but I guess not. There we go. Now, with three bombs, I would kind of just rather not use them. It's really bad from a crowd control standpoint, but... And I, I imagine we'll probably end up fighting Chubb on this fight, but we're making a deliberate decision here to fight Mom's Heart a little bit more slowly than usual. And in doing so, I think that that'll give me a better chance overall later in the game. I don't like being shoehorned into this decision, by the way, but I do think it's the right way to handle it, so we'll just focus on crowd control. There is one left, I think. No? Okay. Summon Monstro again. Two Monstros? It seems kind of crazy to me. That's okay, though. We'll just uh, take out this one maybe a little bit faster than we took out the last one as a result of having increased damage from Rage. Don't want to use these bombs. There we go. The Zambies are easy. Just keep, yeah, keep summoning shitty enemies, and then it's just free hits for me. Easy enough. Duke of Flies, also very easy. And we're coming to the point where continuous bombs are going to be fired. We do have to watch out because we don't have... Uh, we don't have the ability to avoid creep, so... We should be able to kill Chad really easily. Sorry, Chubb, really easily. I almost got through a whole video without making that mistake. Um, but... Cool here, almost in bomb state. A lot of people are saying he's fucked right now. You may be right, I may be fucked. But I don't think I am. I think I've just... I deliberately chose to make this fight take longer to save bombs for maybe a very important situation in the late, late, late game. Now, the real question is, do we go and fight Isaac straight away? And I think the answer to that question is no. And the reason I think the answer to that question is no is because I need more keys. Normally, you skip over the cathedral because A, it's kind of difficult, and B, uh, you can get to the chest easily, and then when you get to the chest, you get four free items. I would only get two items if we did that. So I don't relish that thought. Additionally, I can get uh, extra spirit hearts if I don't get hit. It's a bold decision to make here, and I'm not sure if I'm making the right one, but if we can end up using the Emperor card on the chest, that may turn out to be way better for me. This is also pretty useful. You never know if um, the trinket we get from Sloth is going to be you know, the most important trinket in the game. Or not trinket, tarot card. You know what I mean by this. If you're watching episode, you know, late 790s or early 800s, um, you're probably aware of my own idiosyncratic method of speaking at this point. I know, you know, John Malkovich, necessarily. What do we have? Hanged Man. Might end up being useful to grab, like, one consumable over the course of this floor. We'll, we'll know when that moment comes. Oh, made it out of there just in time and then got hit immediately afterwards. But we can use that to our advantage ever so slightly. So there goes a spirit heart for us. But hey, we basically got uh, one for free already as well. Curse room. We'll, uh, we'll try to hit the curse room when we have zero uh, charge on our Book of Revelations. Reason being, that's the time when it makes the most sense. I don't know if it needs any more explanation than that. Oh, that was almost really bad damage on my part. Uh, yeah, that's that's the time when it makes the most sense because uh, we can get two charge, we can get one full charge for our uh, problem walking in. So it costs us one spirit heart to go to the, the curse room, but if it ends up paying out with Guppy, then it, it's obviously well worth it. And we get a key. So we'll go through one more room first. That key is important. Monstro two. Okay. Oh, come on. So we'll wait for one of these awful spells, and then oh, he's gonna do it again. Truth be told, uh, actually, kind of am 
relishing the opportunity for this right now. Because if I can actually get him to fire the laser consistently, we can, um, or sorry, if I can get him to summon those flies consistently, I could build decent rage. And that's why this fight is, uh, you know, nearly already over, is because I actually did manage to snag a decent amount of, uh, of extra damage as a result of this. And now it's over. Close. Now it's over. Book of Revelations comes up. And we're going to get one heart, but lose two for coming in here. Maybe more, depending on what's in the red chest. It's a live bomb. That sucks pretty hard. At least we only lost one spirit heart to make it happen, though. We have this Emperor card available for this chest when it is probably way more useful to use it. Be cool. There we go. And again, and this is why Unlimited Range is so useful. This is such a... I mean, it's a weird run because you might not understand just by looking at it right now how dire it is, but you're like, oh, you got Spirit Arts off the screen in Brimstone. No problem. But really, I'm having to abuse every advantage that I can possibly get. Abuse is not necessarily the best word to use there, but I'm having to use every advantage that is, you know, within my Isaac toolbox, which is, you know, very limited, but uh, I have to use absolutely everything that I got there. Otherwise, I'm, I'm not going to be able to make this work. So, on, on the one hand, I, I can't pick that up. I'm really glad I didn't accidentally walk over it. On the one hand, it's, it's fun because I have to constantly be on my toes. On the other hand, Scary, because I have to constantly be on my toes. I'm not brim snapping, by the way. People are always like, "Hey, are you, why, why do you brim snap when you get brimstone?" Don't be a ding dong. I've even seen people that do like fucking like analysis on it. They're like, "Well, he did this much damage here. He shouldn't be doing that much damage. The meter went down way more than I would expect." And blah blah blah. Well, I would suggest that you know, a, why would I ever cheat in the Binding of Isaac? Have you, I, I consistently lose, like, or at least for a long time, I consistently lost. Um, so I would be the worst cheater ever, and then the other thing is, uh, you know, don't trust health bars in the Binding of Isaac, because they are oftentimes super misrepresentative of what's actually happening. So we did make it all the way to the Isaac boss fight. Amazingly, HP still seems pretty good to me. Probably going to take like an offensive-defensive approach to this fight, which basically means that every time I get hit, run up and beat the shit out of him with my... Uh, with my orbitals and my attacks, of course. I can't believe we only got one key on that. Well, we didn't go through the entire floor, but I can't believe we only got one key our entire time on the floor, at least. Now, again, what's the strategy here? Don't say offensive, defensive. That's true, though. Uh, the strategy here is start just by doing as much damage as you can without taking damage, because this damage is free damage. We can take off 10% of his health for free. Wonderful. We can take off, uh, well, let's say we take off a quarter of his health for free. If we get hit six times on a fight, now we only get hit four and a half times. Obviously, that doesn't really add up, but it would just say if we get hit eight times, then we only get hit six times. That could end up making the difference. So, so far, it's been a pretty easy fight with respect to dodging. Our damage is terrible. In a way, Blue Baby will actually be easier as a result of the fact that um, we uh, will be able to kill flies and, and generate some rage off of that. We are through the first phase. We've been hit once, but we also got one Spirit Heart out of it, so we're, we're effectively basically in the right now. Now, just keep this up. We're about halfway through, nearly. Every shot does not do very much damage. Wish I could stay in still a little bit longer, because Gish is not getting as much of an opportunity to slow as I would like. Of course, immediately after saying that, Gish got a very nice opportunity to slow. And the fight goes so much faster when I actually take damage, but I don't want to jeopardize our chances of winning here. And this really is a situation where I didn't take Brimstone to be, like, you know, cocky. If I hadn't taken Brimstone... I don't think we'd have any chance in hell right now, so I, I think that ended up being a difficult decision to make in some ways, but an easy decision to make in some obvious other ways. So we're going to get down to, like, yeah, the third phase. We've only been hit twice, uh, and this is good. We're not going to get a key at the end of this fight. We'll hopefully just get a key on the chest. That's not an unreasonable expectation. We have invincibility, even though it doesn't look like we do. Get the fuck out of there. And we actually are able to build some rage now. Okay, so now we're taking some damage. That's fine. Rage is being built up. Now we're actually doing like a tangible amount of his health bar every time we shoot. Still can't one-shot the angel fetuses, which is kind of crazy. Watch out for those. And there we go. Now we're one-shotting them. And don't want to get trapped behind them there. There we go. Oftentimes, the angel fetuses are much more of a threat at this point. I couldn't see if we were like out of spirit hearts there. Like if the spirit hearts uh, were no longer off the screen. Obviously, we're not out of spirit hearts, but if the spirit hearts were no longer like off the screen. Anyway, we got through. 
And our secret room is right over there, so we'll check that out because if it is a, um... If it is a, uh... Slot machine, we can blow it up for a free item. It's not, it's money. I think we just go fight the boss right away. I think we take Abel. I, you know, might be saying like the unicorn horn makes sense. And you might be right. The Book of Revelations halves the amount of damage we take. So I think it's, it's the safer bet. Unicorn horn might work faster, but on the off chance that it doesn't work, I know Book of Revelations, like 95% chance is gonna give me the win here. So, um, I, I'm pretty proud of this run to be honest with you. And I know that a lot of you will say, why are you proud? This is just a brimstone run. If I had played worse, this run would have looked a lot worse. This was a bad seed that ended up turning out relatively well as a result of basically, you know, not to discount the game's involvement, but basically as a result of taking every advantage that was possible and making it happen. And of course, that's what you try to do in The Binding of Isaac in general, but I don't always succeed at it. So I, I think that this ended up being a run that was way more comfortable than it should have been simply due to strong play. And that's that's a good feeling. That's a, that's a feeling you can spread on your toast and eat for breakfast to give you courage for the rest of the day. Just a hard day's work done well, basically, is the, the proper analogy for this, I'd say. Building a decent amount of rage, and this very much feels like kind of a victory lap. It may be the slowest victory lap of all time, but I am lapping all the people who are not on the boss fight right now. So, pretty solid. We'll finish this fight, and the streak will continue. We survived our Samson run, and we survived our relatively scary Samson run. Uh, in a bit of an in unconventional way. Brimstone's the story of the day, I suppose, but also, um, you know, that, that Guppy's Pog Gambit from the very, very early game ended up paying out massive dividends by the end. And we're actually doing quite a number on Blue Baby here. Uh, despite taking damage there, it doesn't really matter. We'll drop some bombs in here. No Mr. Mega or anything to supplement that damage, but that's okay too. Just walk in, finish the job. And we'll just kill you guys by running into you. It's like a group hug at the end of a marathon or something like that. You did. All right, well, as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this run. I did. It was a struggle, but we made it work. And of course, if you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a lot. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.